Hello everyone, welcome back to the boudoir and today we're going to be playing Alice Madness Returns. I have a little bit to say, if you're not interested in that, I put chapters on all of my videos, just skip right to the gameplay. But all I really wanted to say is I have played this game before, I am actually a really really big fan of this game series. It's one of the most underrated games in the universe. This is the first game on this channel that I already know of, that I've already played, and that I actually would say I'm a big fan of. And I just wanted to take this time today to share this with you all. My channel recently has been about playing scary games that'll get good reactions and make good content, but I just haven't been in the mood for that lately. I want to make videos but I just don't, just haven't been in the mood for, for that. And so I was thinking well what am I in the mood for and what I'm in the mood for is not something that's gonna make me myself at every turn but something where I know what to expect and something that I love. So things like Sims and Alice and yeah and we're really gonna test how good I am at this game today as well. I think I'm quite good but <laughs> I always use 100% um, save files, so I'm starting completely from scratch and we're going to do a full playthrough of this game and this is for the lovers of this game and for the people who don't know what it is. Anyone who doesn't know what this game is, you're in for a wild ride and I suggest you stick around. And for those who are like me and are fans of the game, I suggest you sit back, relax and enjoy and I'm also not going to be putting my face in the corner of any of the cutscenes because I obviously know what to expect there's no um blind reactions here so I'm just gonna let you all enjoy the moment so let's go Come now, Alice. It's only a dream. It's not a dream. It's a memory. And it makes me sick. Now, focus. Wait. You're floating again. Weightless. A cipher. Relax. Fire. I'm in hell. Forget it. Abandon that memory. It's unproductive. Go to Wonderland. I can't. I'm trapped. In my past. Sergeant, this girl's badly burned. Call for a doctor. She'll be all right. No, Alice. Discard that delusion. Forget it. Go to Wonderland. I'd rather not, Doctor. My Wonderland's shattered. It's dead to me. Your preference doesn't signify, girl. Now, Alice, where are you? I'm sailing with a friend. Hmm, it's different somehow. Things have changed. Change is good. It's the first link in the chain of forgetting. What's happening? Are you mad? I'm not mad. Rabbit. That's not right. What's he doing? Is something wrong? Something wrong? No, not that! Don't struggle, Alice. Let the new Wonderland emerge. Evolution. Corruption. It's killing me. The Wonderland is destroyed. My mind is in ruins. Forget it, Alice. Block that dream. Wake at the sound. Better now, aren't we? My head's exploded and there's a steam hammer in my chest. Yes, well, the cost of forgetting is high. My memories make me vomit. What can I... Remember other things. I want to forget. Who would choose to be alone, imprisoned by their broken memories? I'll set you free, Alice. 
Memory is a curse more often than a blessing. So you've said many times, and... And I will say again, the past must be paid for. Now, before our next session, collect those pills from our High Street chemist. Very well, Doctor. It's my turn to forget, Alice. Now, Charlie. Your pa was hung for killing your ma who beat you. Let's forget that, shall we? The past is dead, Charlie. Wasn't that great? I just love this game so much. Well, well, <clears throat> oh, sorry. Like every game, it has its pros and cons, and we will get into that oh, probably later on. Where bloomers. But, um, yeah, I don't want to get too much into that right now. And the other thing, look at this. I have highest graphics on because this game came out in 2011. And if you've been keeping up with the channel, I deserve my bitter tears. Want some? If you've been keeping up with the channel, then you'd know that I've been having a lot of problems with the games that I play and that the recording keeps lagging and I have to put the settings down to low all the time um, but because this game is so old I can have it on the highest settings and it doesn't matter it, it's, it works flawlessly I just think that's great but I guess you'd look at this you, won't un you would never understand the magic unless you're in my possession the illustrated news feeds an insatiable appetite for domestic mayhem and industrial disaster. Fire at match factory, six girls missing. Is there anything more predictable? The world's gone quite mad. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, so for anyone who isn't familiar with this game series, this is the second game in the series. Mr. Payne had no idea how humble Everyone's I could be. If not for my drawings and the photographs, this could pass for my room at the asylum. So yes, this is the second game in the series, but you don't really need to know too much about the first game to play this one. Um, I played this one first, I think most people did. And, um... Oh, look! Oh my god! Anyways, yeah. So, all you really need to know from the first game is her, when she was a little girl, her family died in the fire. And then she got sent to an asylum because it basically, because of the survivor skill that she had. Um, I'm not sure I'm explaining it properly. Um, <laughs> this probably is a better way to explain it, but yeah, she ends up in an asylum and the whole point of the first game was going through Wonderland and also almost Wonderland and conquering the Red Queen, the Queen of Hearts, sorry, was a metaphor for her conquering her guilt. And once she conquered her guilt at the end, she got released from the asylum. And so now she's ended up in an orphanage, which is a little bit sketchy considering she's meant to be like 18 or something. And I'm pretty sure you get like kicked out of there when you're 18. But that's all the story, isn't it? Another day, a different dream, perhaps. Look how good this game looks. Oh, this thing For 2011. I call work noble bastards. Can't come this way, love. Uh, go around. Okay, sons. Nice sad. Uh, Look at the pair flat on it. Oh my God. Um. Yeah. Imagine living in the Victorian times. Hello. Machine made corsets, oh, lovely birds. You like Boccherini, Missy? How about Paganini? This game starts off so strong. <laughs> but I feel like as we'll get further into the Let's Play, we'll start to see the cracks showing. Uh, this is an amazing game, by the way, but everything has its pros and cons, as I said. Oh, Missy, move along. Also, I've just washed my hair, so it's getting it's getting like really 
So try and bring it down a little bit. Calm it down, Missy. I just keep thinking what it'd be like to live in this time period. Hello, puss. Puss, 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 puss. Don't be afraid. Imagine, because this, this game came out like 10 years now, after the first gone? game. Or was it 11? I don't know. But it was around that like decade and imagine how excited the people who were fans of the first game were, you know, how excited they would have been considering it took 10 years for a sequel and they're working on a third game now and yeah, they're working on a third game now. And this is even a, a longer time gap, and it's not even looking like we're gonna get a third game anytime soon, maybe 2024, 2025. And that's being hopeful. Um, so yes, even longer time gap. The stars and garters, Alice Little. Slumming again, are we? Nurse Witless. What luck. Twice in as many months. Out on your own? You look frazzled, dearie. Not doing well? Not really. Come along home then and look at my pigeons. Pretty birds. Like you. I don't think so. Our last visit cost me several pounds and got me nowhere. I might recall where your mangy rabbit got to. Still a mess. No surprise. Her kin roasted like chestnuts right before her eyes. Ten years in Rutledge Asylum wasted everyone's time. Dr. Bumby won't do better. Still hauling out <coughs> her questions. The fire, her memory. I deserve consideration, don't I? Who found her her new clothes? Who got her a place at Bombay's? Where'd she be without me? On the street, selling her backside. Ooh, likes my pigeons, though. She's doled out the odd pound or two. But what I know is worth more than that. Kept her secret, haven't I? Heard her say, all died on my account. I couldn't save you. I've told her my silence is for sale. Keep. I'm a good sort, really. Not like her nanny, that uppity whore. Or that lawyer fellow Radcliffe took her stupid rabbit. Need money. Warned her I'd tell the coppers if she didn't make a donation to my upkeep. She yells and goes off her head. Does she can of remember her name? What I heard. All right. I have known this game for about 10 years. Um, so pretty much the whole time it's been out and still to this day I have not a clue what Nurse Witless is going on about in that cutscene. Not a clue. Alice pays her to keep a secret which doesn't which doesn't make sense to me because this isn't really a spoiler but she there isn't a secret. I think it's quite obvious she didn't kill her family. I, I, I'd say that's that's quite obvious. And so, why would she be paying? Well, I guess because if the nurse went and told everybody that, then nobody would believe Alice's innocence because she has been to an asylum. Maybe it's because of that. Oh, we have a lot of this in the game as well. Look at this. You can see the, the scenery. I have... Where is it? I have this. Found it in a charity shop. How dare the person who gave this away give it away. Um, yes, it was in the window. 
of a charity shop and I had to go in and get it. I had to because I had been wanting to get this one for quite a long time, obviously. Let me see. There's a. Look, I guess this is. Oh, I guess this is. Oh, goodness. I guess this is quite similar to what the final result was. Ah! Uh, Haha! Here we go, look. Mm hmm. So we've got that, the concept art, and then this is the end result, which is quite similar, but a lot, a lot of gameplay um, was removed. But I actually have a version of the game, like a beta version of the game, from when the game was in development. If you guys want to see me play that, I will be happy to show you it. It is, it, it just shows a lot of what was missing from the game. So if you guys are interested in me showcasing that, I will do that for you. And also show you where I got it as well, because I'm sure you guys would really want that. Uh, if you're a fan, you, you would really want to see um, no, this version. Just, do you mean to harm me? To send me back to the asylum? I won't say no. I have a first you could photograph. Need a drink. Your mouth needs washing. Oh no. Oh no, I can explain. Why is it done that? Oh my god, I'm gonna have to change it, Anna. I changed the dress. Um oh I'll fix it later on, don't worry. Very upsetting journey, but I'm rid of Pris or whatever she's become. At least the place I've landed is somewhat familiar. About time too, Alice. Blasted cat. Don't try to bully me. I'm very much on edge. Perfect. When you're not on edge, you're taking up too much space. You're no help at all. But you know I can be. I'll frighten myself. When necessary, thanks very much. I was hoping to escape from all that. Abandon that hope. A new law reigns in this wonderland, Alice. It's very rough justice all round. We're at risk here. You be on your guard. So we're in Wonderland now and we can jump and stuff now. Um, I will explain the outfit. If you, got, if, you, if you don't know, there is a thing in the menu where you can change Alice's dress. And usually what would happen in the game is, depending on what area of Wonderland she's in, her dress would change. Now this is the dress from quite, from almost the end of the game, where she's in this kind of dollhouse world. And so it's very doll-like. But you have a thing in the main menu where if you've completed the game, you can choose whatever dress you like to have you know wherever she is so i've chosen a dollhouse dress to be her dress all the time um and i forgot to change it back to the ordinary one where it changes um i will keep it like this for now i don't know should i should i change it i don't know i'll change it for now. So yeah, this is the thing, look, where you can switch the dresses. I've got all the DLC dresses. But yeah, they're really cool, but I'll just, I'll just go back to story mode, back to basics, just for the sake of it being a, um, 
a completely fresh save file, you know, rags to riches. There we go. Okay. Well. Yes, so that's the other thing is that she has to go around and collect her memories because she, her doctor's trying to get her to forget everything and this is her process of regaining memories and the mem especially in the beginning half beginning bit of the game they coincide with what's going on currently and I will exp if I I don't even actually should I explain them to you basically my god Alice, you, you jump so well because we're only just discovering now that we can jump in in Wonderland. Wait, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. No! Oh my god, A to jump, get out my way. Do I have to Do I have to go over here to I want A to jump to go away? Oh, I want it to get out my way, wait a second. If I go over here, will you, all right. Right, let me go, go down here. I wanna show you something. Look how good that looks. Look how good that looks. It's a shame the dominoes are in the way now. But yeah, this game, for when it came out, looks, looks great. And I love the themed world as well. Um, this is, you know, very enchanted forest, very stereotypical what people think would normally think of when they think of Wonderland. If you leave from that table again, Alice, I'll expire. You're two times too reckless, my girl. So yes, again on the subject of jumping. I don't feel like I need to to um to spell it out to you, do I? Amanita muscaria Alice is merely a stinky toadstool. A spongy consistency, but poisonous. poisonous. Yes. Can we yeah. Okay. Woo! Woo woo woo! I've been oh, down this oh. road before. The music was going a bit weird. Packages? Though lacking a bathing costume, a plunge in that pool is in order. My God, I'm shrinking in this potion. Sh shall I disappear? Almost, but the upside is that while smaller, you can see things that are nearly invisible to your bigger self. Ah, I get it, quite. Forests for the trees, just the other way round. Short-sighted is more than a matter of perspective. Yay. So now we have Unlocked Shrink. Now Shrink is a really good tool. Not tool, sorry. Skill. So small she's oh, I'm not even that. Up. She's barely there. A vixen in her hiding hole. Look how small she's become. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. I think what's really um, inspired me to play this game today is just by realizing how many people do not know this magic exists. Um, I there are gaming YouTubers only just discovering this game in 2022. This game came out in 2011. The advertising, the, well not advertising, the marketing team on this game really did a disservice because so many people don't know about this game who should know about this game. Like who would enjoy this game. And yeah, oh my gosh, look at this. I love the leaves as well. You don't get that on lower graphics. You don't get, I've got this game on Xbox as well. You don't get the uh, leaves and stuff and the higher graphics on Xbox. But yeah, I, I think there was, I got a video recommended to me the other day and I, I, th his, I think his name is 8 Ryan. And um, he had 
only just made his first video on this game. He's only just discovered this game. But by the time this video comes out, I, d I don't know when this video is going to come out. Maybe he's probably finished the game <laughs> by then. I don't know. I've got a whole backlog of videos waiting to be released right now. I'll never have more fun alone than when I rode the big slide in Hyde Park. Papa will take you soon, Alice. And yeah. So I don't know when this video is going to come out. But when I'm recording this, he had only just discovered the game and I just find that so crazy considering this game has been such a big part of my life. One of my most favourite games ever to exist and I think it's because of how much nostalgia comes with it. I first played this game when I was six now I know that's a little bit scandalous considering this is a um this is rated 15 oh and now we see why <laughs> Rivers of Blood, anyone? But I had seen a lot worse when uh, when I was six, so this was tame. And I was such a big fan of Alice in Wonderland, so... You know, and also, that even today, there still isn't many very good Alice in Wonderland-based games out there. And so this is the best we got. Except from the Alice in Wonderland game for Wii, the which... The blade is swift and keen and always ready for service. I've not come back here looking for a fight. Really? That's a pity. One's certainly looking for you. The Robber Blade goes snicker-snack. It leaves them dead, as seen in a previous poem. The Vulpal Blade inflicts swiftest, inflicts swiftest damage to a single attack at close range. Bye bye, Jabberwocky. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, the Wii, uh, the Alice in Wonderland game for the Wii, which was based on the Disney movie. Um, if you want me to play that, I totally would. I have a Wii emulator, I'm pretty sure. So we could definitely do that if you wanted. I'm sorry I keep talking about my own spiel that's got relatively nothing to do with the events that are currently happening in the game. It's just obviously none of this is new to me. I've, especially at this beginning part of the game, I've played like 50 times, maybe even more than that. So yeah. Oh, my controller vibrates <laughs> for this. Flight often just means putting off the fight for another day. Choose your Check battles life. wisely, Ella. So yes, now we have the knife, we can break open these shells, which have all sorts of secrets inside. Mm. Hello! I remember if these scared me as a child. I don't think they did. Uh, the opening cutscene though was quite traumatic. <laughs> but we get over it. I played Dead Space. Um, and I, that is by far the worst for scary games. That is actually still scary to me to this day. I am actually quite uncomfortable by that game still to this day so Flower's purpose is simple and immutable human purpose is fixed because it is a slave to memory memories must be strictly managed Alice. unproductive ones must be eliminated um i could play dead space if you wanted me to look at the leaves the leaves Don't need to read that girl. We are not new to this rodeo. There we go, trying to get that tooth. <laughs> Woo! Sorry, did I tell you I'm really good at jumping in this game? I am a pro. Watch me die. <laughs> Watch me die after I said that. Oh, we're getting a bit of lag in this area. That girl that is not good. Not good at all. Ah, 
It's you again, Alice. You may approach. Why would I do that? You want to eat me? Yes, well, you taught me manners, and I've lost my taste for mad women. Strictly a poor sign diet for me. Everything's better with bacon, don't you agree? Of course you do. Now, there are pink snouts scattered about. I heard a few behind the house. Go fetch them for me. But take care for the pests that block your way. Pepper them up if they do. They need spice, and you're just the dish, a girl, to season them for me. You'll find that grinder serviceable. Why not season your own pick parts? Matter of priorities. My alabaster skin needs protection from the disgusting creatures running amok amidst the environs. But one gets peckish. Look, all you have to do is listen for the oink, then shoot the snout. You may like the results. I certainly will. So we're just uh, flexing that I have memorized every single line in this game. Probably it's not every single, but especially the beginning of the game. I know very, very well. You have obtained the Duchess's pepper grinder. Slice up your four. No, spice up your fours. <laughs> Prepare savory snouts. The snouts in this game really annoy me. Um, also, this part of the game was really hard uh, for me back in the day. Hello. Well, back then I didn't know that, that the focus thing existed. I was just doing this stuff. Which, I mean, it's so much better with the... Oh no, oh no. Oh no, wait, there we go. Okay, where are ya? Aha! Whoa! Because I've got RTX on, there's so, so many particle effects and it looks so good. Well, well, I hear... There we go. Aye! That's still a beast, baby. Oh no. No, 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 there we go. Are we done? There's a mark. Oh! God, no! Oh, why was he not fighting me? Just beat him for nothing. So, every domain, keep an ear out for snouts. Hate this. Enter aiming mode and shoot the snout with the pepper grinder. Once the snout is full of pepper, it will release, re reveal paths and collectibles. I hate the snouts because they're so hard to find. You just hear the, the, and um, oh my god, they're always so hard to find. This is this is fine. They're being really easy on us in the beginning of the game, but they like start going invisible. Um, at one point in the game, and you have to like shrink to be able to see them. It, it gets really crazy. Come here. Oh wait. Can't you say them on them? Aha. Um. I also want to play the first game, but I feel like this is very. Well, they're both very much streaming games, um, but obviously this channel isn't very big right now, and so I just don't see a lot of use in streaming anything if I know nobody's going to watch it, nobody's going to be there. So I'm waiting to stream things. I have a lot of games on my list that I want to stream, but... You know, that'll have to wait until, hopefully, fingers crossed, I eventually um, garner Thank you so an much audience that'll watch it. Now go away. But I mean, yeah, I've linked my, I've linked my Twitch down below, if you guys want to go and follow that. And then I, I, I probably will, um, out of all the games, probably play um, American McGee's Alice, the first game in this series on stream 
Sims is also a good streaming game, by the way. But I will probably do that thing where you stream to Twitch and YouTube at the same time. I feel like that would be a good idea. Wait, come here. Alright. I don't even think we're going to finish this domain. Actually, we'll get to the crockery. And then I will dip. Because we're on 46 minutes of recording at this point. No, no, no. Oh, God. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, why are they flying up? Why are there so many? I've got it on normal. Okay. Right. Come on, come on, come on. No. Aim at the nest. I keep forget. All right, it's done anyway. I keep forgetting what, which button it is to switch aim. Hello? Why is it still playing the music? I said, oh, this one down there as well. There we go. All done. All done and just did. Right, come here. Yeah. This is probably going to be the longest video on the series. I do plan on doing a series of this game. I will make a video on this game whenever I'm not in the mood to play horror games, which is why I'm obviously here today. And I do think this will be my go-to game when I want to make a video, just not in the mood to die inside for other people's entertainment. Finish your soup, girls. Bovine juveniles gave their all for it. No, I, I think it was only the other year that I found out what a bovine juvenile is. So obviously a juvenile is a child. And I think a bovine juvenile is a child cow. What are they called? Calves? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because... There were the mock turtles over there, so they were talking about mock turtle soup, and mock turtle soup was beef instead of turtle, but it was made in the same way, just not everybody could afford turtle back in the day. I don't think you can now. I've never ate, eaten turtle. I'm one of those people who, oh wait, I was going to get my hobby horse out and then I realised we couldn't have that yet. Once we get the hobby horse, we can smash them in into the ground, beat them to a pulp. Which is a lot better than using the knife. Well, we gotta do with what we have for now. Oh! And look, look at this, this slime that goes everywhere. What is the, the oil? Oh, goodness! The crude oil. The hydrocarbons. Oh my god, I have recently done my, oh wait, recently done my GCSEs. I passed everything, by the way. But I'm just so glad that I can forget about chemistry and all that rubbish. We did so much about hydrocarbons um, before GCSEs came around. Only for like a tiny portion of the GCSEs to have hydrocarbons, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe... Maybe none of it was about hydrocarbons. I know we did nothing about... There was one subject that we missed, but everything else we had to do. Um, whereas biology, there were so many subjects that we had learned that we didn't do. Like, I'm pretty sure there was nothing about the heart. There was nothing about the eye. Um, but it was a lot about plant cells. Like, of all of the things that they could have kept in GCSEs, they kept plant cells. I hate them. I hate cells. Oh! Girl. Stuff is happening. Look at the colour change of this. Also, if you are a fan, like me, of these games, I really recommend 
that you go and follow um, American Gay on YouTube and Twitch. Oh, we're lagging, we're lagging girl. Just ignore it. On YouTube and Twitch because American McGee is the creator of these games, is the creative director of these games. And um, I really suggest that you go and find him on YouTube and on Twitch because he streams on Twitch. But the streams also go over to. Inefficient noise and smoke, like snips and snails, perhaps. Best to forget that train. A mock turtle as conductor. Oh no, I don't think that will do at all. Too bad, because the mock turtle is the conductor. Anyway, well, not anymore. But we'll get to that in the story, won't we? As I said, yes, um, the streams end up on YouTube as well. And I, if you are a fan of these games or are interested in these games, I really recommend you go and watch his streams because he talks all about the inner workings of these games. Um, mostly the inner workings of the development of the third game, updating us on the progress of going and trying to find somebody to fund the game and also just the process of designing the game because it's took so long to try and get somebody to fund the game it is it has given them much more time to design the game and pre-plan everything which is very very good but he also plays this game on his streams and it's really interesting because he talks about you know the process of this game's development while he's playing it and I think that is well for me anyways I really enjoy hearing about that I'm someone who when I'm a fan of a movie I really like looking at the behind the scenes and so hearing from the creative director of the game how it all how it all went down behind the scenes um, oh my god why are we lagging so much is that can we go into the try and uh, turn oh we can't turn an uh, thingy off uh, turn post process off just while we're in oh no look how bad the game looks never mind girl never mind girly can we not anyways look how bad this looks but the game is just being a little bit right now because of all these enemies on the screen. This is why I wish I had an actual PC. Uh, so that we didn't have to worry about this. I really hope the recording is doing well. I really hope that it's not like lagging really badly or anything like that. Otherwise, I will shoot myself. Without a doubt. Oh. Hello, Eves. Yes. Okay. We can upgrade the knife, so we will do that. The Vapo Blade. So much controller vibration going on. But I always hated mechanical malfunctions. This disaster is either his doing or his epitaph. Wait a second. Let's turn the good graphics back on. Yes, we're back, baby. What else to talk about? Because, yeah. Do you know what? I feel quite ashamed that I was really going to try and pretend that I knew nothing about this game and pretend it was a blind reaction but I really want to be honest with everybody I really want to have authentic reactions as well like I feel like well me anyways I can tell when somebody's not being authentic and there are a lot of times where I've been watching somebody play a game and I'm like yeah you at least watch somebody else play this before haven't you <laughs> oh the child just disappeared before my eyes. I keep trying to get, I keep pressing Y, uh, y to try and get the hobby horse out. Also, this game is so hard with a keyboard. I use controller. Obviously, back in the day, I played it on Xbox 360, so I'm just used to playing it with um, 
Xbox controller. That's just my thing. Ho ho ho. And I, do you know what? I think, oh, my, my, why is my cursor like in the corner of the screen as well? That's not good. Um, I hope that hasn't been there the entire time. But anyways, we're at checkpoint now. We're going to stop the video here where we've been recording for almost an hour. And you know what? I'm actually in a really good mood after doing this video. Usually I'm in not a very good mood. Like after I finished the mortuary assistant, I was just not, well, not finished it, but finished the video. You know what I mean? After I finished recording the video, I was just in such not a good mood. Like I just wanted to go to bed. Whereas after playing this game again that I validated to myself that I enjoy, I am in quite a peppy mood. I am, I'm quite happy right now. And I hope that I lifted everybody else's spirits as well. Yeah, so. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to come back next time where we will be going to the Hatter's Domain. So we will go to, I don't think we'll be able to get to the Hatter in the next video. Maybe that'll be like part three. But we will definitely get close to him anyways. So yeah, make sure to subscribe so you know when that happens. And the bell notification thing as well so you get the, the notification when it happens. Make sure to like as well, obviously, so that I know that you liked it. Make sure to comment down below. I would really, really like to see comments from fellow fans of the game. I really want to build a nice community of fans of this game because, yeah, I just, I just really love this game and it's, it would be so nice to hear from any other people who also love the game and also just genuine feedback on the video altogether. I wish I hadn't babbled on so much about other things but at the same time what can you expect? This is not a blind reaction. I'm not gonna go oh my god oh my god because it's not new to me so I'm just talking about other things that are kind of related to fill in fill in the emptiness, fill in the silence, and make it an overall entertaining video. I feel like I just streamed. Like this whole video feels like a stream because of how casual it's been, but I like it. I really like the, the casualness of today's video. Anyways, I'm gonna shut up now. Hope you all enjoyed today's video. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave your love and suggestions down in the comments below. And I'll see you all in the next one. Hopefully, hopefully you all come back next time. And yeah, peace out. I don't know. I don't want to go. I'm so happy. I might record another video. I might record the second part. How about that? Yes.